So for today's video, I'll be showing you how to do a regal traditional hairstyle with a bang. Get your popcorn and have fun watching. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's hairstyle, I'll be using the kinky extension. So now I'm going to get um, two of it. The first one, I'm going to wrap it round as seen in the video and then use my bobby pins to like secure it down so once i'm done with that one i'll get a second one and do the same Now for the next step, I'm going to get my donut ball and place it on it. So now I'm going to secure it around and make sure it sits properly. After that, I'm going to grab my hair up and take out a little so this one is um, the portion I'll be using for the fringe so it depends on how full you want the fringe or your clients want the fringe so but for this video I am doing a scanty fringe so I'm going to bring out a little and then tie it down So now I'm, I'm going to section the hair into portions and then do the twist and drag method for messy curls. So I did a video before where I did the twist and drag messy bun. I'll be leaving it up there so you can go watch it. So now I'm back to business. So I'm going to twist or fold rather so let me not get you guys confused so just keep folding as seen in the video so once i'm done folding to the tip i'm going to pick out a little strand from the tip so i'm going to pull it now so when i pull it it's going to give me the spring effect so i'm going to just adjust it with my fingers so after that i'm going to flip it over and use my bobby pins to hold it down I'm going to continue the same method until I am able to cover the donut ball hello everyone if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a video and also don't forget to watch my videos like them and share them with your friends thanks guys
so i have some leftovers over there so i'm going to just put them together twist and pull it so now i'll use my bobby pin so i secure it down so now the excess hair that is remaining you dare not trim it out don't trim any client's hair no matter how cheap or expensive the hair might be just fold it with your bobby pin and then stick it into the hair so for this part in front i'm going to do the same method twist and drag then spread it and make sure i cover my bone properly So now it's making the bank time so i'm going to take the hair up and then pull out some strands from the both sides so now i'm going to section that one i have there you see right there on her brows that's where i want the length of the bank to be so i'm going to section it again so now i'm going to make like a u shaped trimming so the first one i'm going to trim it down and then after trimming it i'm going to go over and make a layer with the next one so i'll do the same to the first to the next two so i'm just going to make um a layered trimming so i'll do that on the other side and then get my straightener so guys it's time for straightening so i have my nova straightener it's a straightener with minimum heat so I'm going to get my Egan oil and my ultra hold spray then I'm going to apply a little of the Egan oil and then apply it on the hair so after that I'm going to spray it sorry guys I know most of you will crucify me I have a face cover so you use a face cover spray it and then go over with your straightener and then make the bang So like I always do after straightening the hair, I still go back and trim out some strands that are not, you know, even. So I just make sure it's looking more natural. So I'm just going to do that with my scissors. So for today's hairstyle, I'll be working with this beaded vine. So I'm going to place it in front and then 
put it in with my bobby pins so when you're doing this make sure you don't press down the the bun you did earlier hi guys i hope this video was really insightful and you really enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to leave the notification bell turned on so you'll be notified whenever i post a video and also don't forget to watch my videos like them and leave a comment in the comment box so i'll see you guys in my next video bye